Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, so we got to get used to the wet weather. It's going to be around again tomorrow. We are catching a little bit of a break this evening. Check this out. Uh, live pictures over downtown. Brendan Miller just commenting on the clouds, and we are actually going to see a little bit of partial clearing. But with the type of environment we're in, and we've had some wet weather today, you can just kind of make out, especially over higher elevations, if we get any partial clearing, which I think we will, that's going to lead to the development of some patchy fog, not only this evening, but through the overnight uh, as well. 46 degrees, the dew point is 44, so they're only two uh, apart from each other. So uh, when they're that close, that uh, almost is saturation, and hence the end result being a lot of low clouds and fog like we are seeing. And you throw in a little bit of partial clearing into the mix, that helps that fog kind of proliferate. Not much wind either. So here's what to expect. Like I said, let's get used to the wet weather. It will be around again through the day tomorrow. It should start to taper early Thursday, and then it will be a slow process, but we'll get some gradual clearing by Thursday afternoon. It should be partly sunny. Uh, but it will be cooler on Thursday, the way everything's kind of shaping up now. I've actually uh, lowered the temperature a little bit because a little bit more of a northeasterly wind ushering in some cooler, drier air. Nice weather Friday. And then unfortunately this weekend, uh, it's rainy and maybe even a little snowy in some cases. We'll talk more about that in a moment. All right, so numbers now are pretty uniform because of the regulating effect uh, of the clouds. So 47 Rome down to Utica, mid 40s in Paris, uh, mid and upper 40s here in Otsego County from Edmiston down to Milford and up north. Temperatures here uh, once again in the low and mid 40s. I mentioned the back edge of the rain slowly shifting its way to the east, still over parts of Herkimer County here. Uh, so from Herkimer points east to Little Falls, Mannheim, Dulgeville, those areas, uh, and then pushing uh, east and then also down here uh, kind of bisecting Otsego County, splitting it in half, say uh, near and along Route 166 and points east. That's where the wettest of the weather is drying out right now. Uh, off to the west as this little area low pressure goes by. You can see the back edge of the rain. Uh, and I know uh, I've been noticing a little bit of partial clearing here coming into the Niagara frontier, western New York. So a little partial clearing, but again, that's going to lead to some patchy fog. And then this cold front to the west will work its way to the east and it will coax moisture up along that front. So we have another round of rain and this thing is going to be a slow moving front. Uh, so it's really not going to make much progress through the day on Wednesday. So watch how we go tonight. Rain tapers, but a new round of rain developing by tomorrow morning. Watch this expand into the afternoon. So we'll have periods of rain becoming steadier into the afternoon. Winds shift northeasterly, so that is going to keep temperatures somewhere mired in the low 50s, right around 50-ish before some wet weather tapers uh, by Thursday morning. And it's going to be a pretty good soaking rain, too, as we get into the afternoon. Anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half expected. Uh, so get ready for uh, a soggy Wednesday. Tonight, leftover shower early this evening. Then we'll see a little bit of partial clearing before some new uh, rain arrives by morning. Lows in the mid-40s. They're really not going to drop uh, too much from where they are now. Damp areas of fog early, then occasional rain develops into the afternoon. Steady at times, a high of 52. Rain tapers Thursday, partly sunny by afternoon, breezy, cool, highs near 50. Beautiful weather Friday, partly to mostly sunny, breezy, milder, upper 50s before we get into the wet weather again Saturday. Some wet snow over higher elevations Saturday night and into Sunday as it turns windy and colder. So winter kind of makes a brief appearance here Monday. Scattered snow showers, flurries 37, and then a nice recovery Tuesday with sunshine, upper 40s to near 50. So we're still just looking for Friday. Friday's going to be a great day. I hate, and you'll take that at the end of the week. The yeah. Nice day Friday. Just wish we could yeah, just carry it over to the weekend. Nice. That'd be nice, yeah, but not right. going to be the case this weekend. All right. Well, thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. Anyway, regardless of the bad news for the weekend, <laughs> still had for you a story that you'll like about a youngster whose wish came true.